Hey guys, crew of we're back. I'm Cap. I'm Aaron. And we are back with Batman, Batman. the animated series. Batman. Last time on Batman. Oh, we had uh, the introduction of Tim Drake. Yep. Uh, we with had the uh, episode Sins of the Father. Yeah, a little bit of a little bit of a, a time feeling. Sure, yeah. Happening. Um, Dick Grayson has gone and become Nightwing, I yeah. suppose, or at least left Robin behind. Um, I don't remember if we got actual confirmation that he has done Nightwing stuff yet. I don't know. Um, but he leaves his suit in the Batcave in a display. Yeah. So I feel like he's leaving that part of his life behind. Yeah. Whether um, he's chosen to continue on with, with uh, Nightwing here. We uh, took care of uh, Two-Face, who was after Tim Drake's father, yep. uh, Stephen Shifty Drake. Um, and... I don't know, I guess he's just vanished, so now Bruce is going to kind of take care of Tim, it seems, so yep. we have another Robin, which will be cool to see how that plays out in this rest of the season. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be cool. We didn't get to see a whole lot of Robin in the very beginning. Sure. It was just like, he was already there kind of yeah. thing. Uh, we did have a lot more Batgirl last episode. We did, So I yeah. wonder how prominently she may be in this season, and it seems that we missed the segment of when Bruce realized Barbara is Batgirl. Yeah. But they were standing there together in the, uh, like, arena training area. In the dojo. Dojo. Yeah, boxing kind of ring. Thing. Whatever they had there. Um, and that's when Dick showed up, too. Mm -hmm. So, But, yeah, they all seem to be aware. So there's kind of like a Bat Family thing maybe building. Um, and I wonder if we'll have more of that or a little bit more Batman or, or what. You know, watching the last episode, it made me realize how easy it would be to find out Batman and Robin and Batgirl's true identity if you just have like an orphan who's kind of good at gymnastics, just running amok in Gotham, Batman will take them under their wing. <laughs> yeah. And just reveal all the secrets hey, all at once. Get really good at gymnastics and just run amok. Yeah. Go steal some donuts mm -hmm. from a cop and use a batarang. Yeah. She had a batarang too. So. It's true. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's where we were with the, the first of this new season. Um, so we are going to get into this episode now so weird that we had this and then it left us and I know and now we have it back again you know it's like your dad finally returned his milk <laughs> yeah it's like yay I can have my cereal holiday nights <clears throat> Joe's Tavern is that a real person or is that like a fake Santa I think it's a real person I don't know December 22nd huh what's up uh, oh. can't we at least get a Christmas tree what Oh, please, please, please. <laughs> I've got a little plan that will make this the happiest holiday ever. I think I'm going to like this episode. Couldn't so imagine why. Actually, I was planning on a quiet Christmas alone, Veronica. Really? Going to have to relearn everybody's faces. Like New art style. It's a little different, yeah. You're standing under the mistletoe. Uh-oh. All right. Got no. To, got to he, take turns. Uh, he doesn't have his fake lips. <laughs> Is that Ivy? What happened? Maybe there was. Maybe it really was one of those. Like she charmed him. Yeah. What's happened? He's being controlled. Your two favorite party girls are out for some Christmas fun. Yep, I like this episode. <gasps> just yank him into the car <laughs> through the window. There's no way he would fit in that window. <laughs> no, old, old Bruce wouldn't. His his face was as wide as the window opening. <laughs> Let alone his shoulders that go two feet fast on either side. She's just kissing yeah. him, taking control. Dude, it's it's so. Batman and Robin. Protective lips won't help with that. She just kissed him on the cheek and it worked. Yeah. Whoopee! Race you to the shoe department, Red! He's like trying to fight it. What the? Did they hit him with the door? Did that happen? That was the driver, wasn't it? I hope they get some presents. They've gone through a lot. Especially Harley. Yeah. She sprained so much. Stop! They have like a little tractor. <laughs> they collect all. Oh, cool. It's like a big wheel. Yeah, it is. Oh my That's gosh. That's a MasterCard, huh? MasterCard. Visa. Visa. American Express, probably. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> God, God. Bruce. And you know what? Bruce. I think I think even if he did have his own faculties, he would be much more willing to pay for these things than to have them steal them. Right? I mean, I suppose, yeah. Especially considering the However, last story that we had with Harley. Harley. I li yeah, I like the last one we had with Harley. We've all had bad days kind of thing. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> He's oh, carrying all the shopping. There's all the stuff. Oh, that's amazing. Not again. Uh oh no! Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! We were going to do it anyway. <gasps> we got his credit cards. What's to worry? 
You still need his signature. Ah, oh, was that a gloved hand? <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. it must have been. <laughs> in the toy store. Oh. In the toy store. In the toy store. In the toy store. Wacko toys. Climb so quick. Why don't you use a grappling hook? <laughs> that was cool. He needs that for later. Merry Christmas, darling. Oh no! It's one of those inflatable punching gloves. You're like a Home Alone trap. <laughs> right? You peek, poke your head in, and just poof, you hit. Uh oh. And happy New Year, chum. Oh. Man, he's not doing well. Luckily, there's a bin of toys. Maybe he's a little wonky from the kiss, you know? Yeah. I probably would be too. Bye bye, Betsy! <laughs> <laughs> they just have so much fun. Yeah, I think Harley is like one of my favorite of the Batman villains. Just because of that. Because sometimes she's good, sometimes she's bad. But either way, she's just a little. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a big fucking tree. Can't uh can't Ivy do anything with that? <gasps> well, here's your stupid tree. Wait. What now? December, December 24th. Okay. This is like an anthology episode? I don't know. I've heard of kids being afraid of Santa, but they've been crying all day. Yeah, you big fry baby. <laughs> is that it's Bullock! <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could be a little more jolly, St. Nick. Give me a break, Montoya. That's Montoya? Yeah. Want to see my gun? Ow! What? Invisible shoplifter, they said? Yeah. Oh, all them damn kids. I sent a old man up the river three months ago. Here, kid. Buy yourself something nice. Can I buy something for my daddy, too? As long as it ain't a hacksaw. <laughs> <laughs> all right, where are these kids at? They're going to... Yep, yep. Hold it right there, young man. What the? Is it... A bag of marbles? Like, clay... And, uh, football. This kid's voice is great. And, uh... That kid's voice is great. It was. Is this, like... My only thought went to, like, Clayface splitting into, like, five people or something. Can he do that? I don't know. But is he, he should still be alive? Because he fell into the thing that dissolved. So I don't know who else it could be. Uh oh, okay. Uh -oh. If it is, they can all combine. Yep, you were right, Aaron. Oh my gosh. He's not dead. That's a lot more than three, your four kids worth of clay. <laughs> you don't know. I've never turned kids into clay before. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's cool. It's a little, a little like a uh, Batgirl half of this episode. Yeah. He has like all these stains all over him. Could be for kids. Ooh, wow. I can blend in with the crowd outside, make my getaway, and rip off some other joint. Man, he's not had that much control before, has he? He's got a lot of control. I don't know. Oh, out the window! Well, he's not blending in with that. Oh! Well, that might be problematic for him. Get out, my girl! Oh, Barbara! Oh, no. She got clawed. Shoot the Santa! You wouldn't. Not you, dope. Not Santa. <laughs> you wouldn't. <laughs> I love that. Oh. Nice. Okay. Water and electricity, huh? Oh, I like Montoya's oh, elf yes. outfit. Roll up those sleeves. Ho, ho, ho. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Oh, another one. Uh, third. December 20th. Oh, December 3rd. Okay. Uh oh. Uh huh. Hi, oh, couch potato. No, it's a Super Bowl ad. <laughs> Not to kill anyone for a whole year. Oh. Which means I'm going to have to work extra fast to bump off a few more of you today. Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes more sense. Hysterical. Hey, Tim. Once activated, the device releases waves of hypersound. Strong enough huh. to Gordon looks a little different too. Okay. Yeah, he does. Yes. I feel like he looks he's, got, he's got more wrinkles on his neck and he's mm -hmm. he's thinner. And there's no bigger countdown on New Year's Eve than at Gotham Square. Mm. So many happy faces. <laughs> Gosh. I horrible. hate to die like that. Once the bell reaches the clock, everyone's getting a real bad earache. <laughs> I knew 
Sound familiar? Yeah. Is that Ron Perlman? I don't know. Or is it that guy that sounds like Ron Perlman? Probably him. Oh my gosh. No. This is gonna, everyone's going to have a Joker mask? Is that what's going to happen? Yep. Who's going to wear those? Sick, twisted individuals for the memes. I can understand Halloween. That worked out. But mm -hmm. it's New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. No, they all have Joker hat fa uh, faces. I can see their noses. Oh, that guy. Overserved. <laughs> yeah, too much alcohol. I figure. Those are cool. Like, we've seen it last episode, but that's a neat thing. The folding battery? Yeah. Yeah, they're better. All right, Robin, let's see what you can do, Tim. Nice. <laughs> Knock his ear muffs off. There you go. There you go. Now his motivation is to get him back on. Pow, pow, pow. Just punch his head. <laughs> I'd hate someone to like just be like riding my shoulders, just punching me in the head. Oh! <laughs> this is why you don't wear capes. Lose the cape. <laughs> nice! Ah. Oh. That makes sense. Oh, oh he shit! Shot Batman. Right over, right, right over top of it. Uh huh. Oh. Oh. Happy New Year! Oh shit! Crushed his arm. <laughs> yeah, I saw his hand sticking out. Jeez. <laughs> they were gonna be like. <laughs> yeah, I thought they were gonna crowd surf him. <laughs> yeah, man, his arms out there. That'd be terrible. Yeah. Happy New Year, everybody. Yeah, it would. Yeah, it'd be bad. See? Eh. You can see my skull. Oh. Sorry, fellas. Closing time. Does Batman show up and they have... Oh, my gosh. How's that on? Better than the Jokers. <laughs> yeah. So he clears out this place so they can have a drink. That's cool. Anything for you... Paid for him. Yes, I am going to beat him to the chest. <laughs> oh, that's like the... Oh, I want him to be standing there. Like... Yeah. Like the intro? All right, there we go. Oh, that was fucking cool. That was interesting. It was just a, a few episodes, but kind of like just a chronological order of what happened throughout the time. Yeah. Had the, what, the 22nd, the 24th, and the 1st? Uh, yeah, 22, 24, 31, and the, and yeah. the first was really first. just a few hours later. Yeah. <clears throat> that was cool. Yeah, I really liked that episode. That was... Yeah, I was expecting more of uh, Harley and Ivy. But I like, I'm, I'm really curious on the second one with having Barbara and Clayface. Because the last time yeah. we saw Clayface was the, uh, um, I forget all that happened, but they were working on trying to like cure him or make more like him. And then they got tossed, I have to go back, but it's somewhere in my notes. Yeah. But it ended with him like falling into the ocean and like dissolving. Yeah. And the implication was that like he was dead and probably won't see him again. Kind of yeah. Thing. And then here he shows back up, and I wonder. It's like Batman was trying to save him, and they were he was like hanging off a ledge or something like that. Yeah, he was on a cliff. And like he couldn't hold on to him, and he fell. Yeah. I did love the kid in that episode, though, that was like, I want a speedboat oh, yeah. and, a, and a car and, and a, a comic book and a rocking horse. And ah! <laughs> that was great. That was some of the best, like... Something to be ignored, but doesn't deserve to be ignored in mm -hmm. the background, you know? Mm-hmm. No, that was really funny. I liked it a lot. And then uh, we had some more Batman mm -hmm. and Robin, like, yeah. together. Um, no Dick. No Dick. So, yeah. I don't know where he is or whatnot, but we had... Does he go to another city to, like, start in, being... In some iterations, he went to, like, I want to say Bloodhaven is what it was called. Gotcha. But mm -hmm. it was like another city oh, far further away from Gotham. Yeah. It's like, well, I'm going to go here and help people. You're you're here. And then that he could go be his own hero kind of thing. Gotcha. But I don't know if that's the route they're going with this. We also had um, Montoya, which was yeah. really good, too. Like, lots of times she's not very focused on, and she was fairly focused in at least that segment of the episode. Yeah, no. I feel like she got more focused than Barbara did. 
sure, yeah. in that in that section. <laughs> I love the sh- don't shoot him, shoot the Santa. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> that one. I love that. I like that a lot too. Yeah. I feel like there's a bit more like character in the writing mm-hmm. this season. I'm really sure. enjoying it. I, I'm curious. Like this one was fun. It was a little. Um, I don't want to say clip show, but it was just like holiday time. So mm-hmm. like here's a few nights of things. Well, it's, but it's the, cool uh, to see too. Like you don't get like the timeline between things happening, so you don't know. Like okay, is this all in one week? The past like year of episodes that we've watched or is it like over five years or sure like, I get you know so we kind of get an idea of like how active the crime is in yeah. Gotham Every, at least with like the the rogues gallery all the episodes over the last two seasons could have been over the course of years or over the course of a year yeah or, yeah who knows but the uh with this episode having like harley in it and stuff too like i think it was fun having her and ivy but i did really like i think the last time we had harley which was when she was like helping Batman a little bit more. Um, man, not even helping. She was going good, right? Yeah. She was trying and, to do the straight and narrow thing, right? And whatever happened, eventually she's just like, if, I, if no one wants me to be good, I'll go back to being bad. And, yeah. And like, you know, all that. And like, Batman brought her back to the asylum and had that, like, what was it? It was like, I had a bad day once too, kind of thing. Yeah. And like, I don't know. There's just, there was something in there where, like, I like the idea of seeing Batman trying to help. I guess, like, the criminals as much as the victims in a way. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of his, and we talked about before, a lot of his rogue gallery is just people who have, like, mental illness. Yeah. You know, they're, like, like Joker's just, like, real insane, just wants to cause chaos all the time and stuff, too. And Harley, you know, was taken advantage by the Joker. And while she has her own mental issues, like, it was just uh, influenced and pushed even further because of the Joker, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, there's just lots of aspects like that. Like, Mr. Freeze, I love incredible but he has like he has his condition and most of his stuff is all motivated by like here's trying to save my his wife. wife i want to save her or if people are going to kill her i'm avenging her yeah. you know like that's kind of the route he goes and i just i like some of those characteristics in them um yeah. whereas clayface here like you know he's just now he's just kind of a thief with powers um but there was some aspects i think of him in a past thing where kind of loss of identity a little bit especially with like harvey dent yeah you get the same thing with him where it's like who is he and he has kind of this split personality thing Mm -hmm. clayface can also have like because he could be anybody or look like anyone yeah it's like a lot of the characters that we see in other popular media and stuff like that where they have like either a cloning ability or or a duplication or something like that you know they lose track of which one was the original sure yeah they have this like struggle of the psyche between them and you know yeah i mean it's a cool if your power is that you can like make multiples of yourself and then that you know those multiples can die or be killed and stuff like you're seeing yourself die multiple times yeah it might be taxing on your brain you know maybe it's not for naruto sure yeah he just gets yeah yeah Yeah. exactly (laughs) but i said I, I, i guess it could be sure also the last two episodes we've had the Separate from like the villains and stuff, the tools. There's been the folding batarang that keeps popping yeah. out, and I just Popped think it's times. interesting to have like a folding aspect to it, where it maybe it's easier to store, or it's not like, well, here's a sharp point that I'm putting in. It's like you can sure grab it, store it from your utility belt in a smaller case, pop it open, and then throw it. And I was like, that's kind of yeah. neat. It's also probably easier to conceal. You could maybe carry more of them. Yeah, yeah, it's just a cool thing. I just thought that was kind of neat. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and they had the uh, the lipstick pheromone kiss kind of thing, which they did. Um, it, it, it's interesting because a lot of my first times with Batman stuff is from the movies and whatnot. So Batman Returns, Forever, Robin, like all those ones, and that's one of the things they do with the uh, uh, shoot. What's her name? Kill Bill. Uma Thurman. Uma Thurman. You know how I got there? <laughs> I had to go to the song where she wants to dance like Uma Thurman. Baby. That, I had to go to that to get to it. I'm like, ah, it's stuck there. But yep. she used that same thing, and it's a thing where she kisses, and it, the pheromones or whatever make you just kind of like fall in love, and you do what she wants. Yeah. And I thought it was interesting to see that here, and I assume these are based off of comic books, so it's probably from somewhere like that. However, Probably. there's a lot of things that I know that this series has also, like, 
started, right? Like Harley sure. Quinn came from this series. Yeah, she, she was, was an original in, character. So like things like that. But she's great. She's one of the best parts of the Batman. Yeah. I love I love like every episode she's in. Like she's she's just so chaotic and fun, but like sometimes she's good, sometimes she's bad, but she's always just chaotic. She just wants to have fun. Yeah. No, I thought it was a fun episode. I mean, there was a few episodes and stories lines in there, but oh, yeah. the holiday season and, you know, crime doesn't stop. No. It still keeps going, right? And crime doesn't pay either. Yes. Right. Guys, thank you so much for watching Batman the Image series with us. We have more to go through, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on a new episode right here every week. Uh, if you want to see more right now or help us decide on future uh, reactions, make sure you go to blindwave.com. Early access, full length for this show and all the other shows that we cover is all available over at blindwave.com.